Welcome to the Stellar Industries Hook Lift Training Video. This video will demonstrate the basic steps necessary to properly operate your hook lift and maintain it through regular service. Before positioning the vehicle, thoroughly plan the lift by understanding the work site area and your loads. Know the weight of your load to avoid overloading the equipment. Deduct the weight of the body from the maximum load rating to determine how much weight can be lifted. Make sure to not overload the hook lift. Never exceed manufacturer's load ratings. These ratings are based on the machine's hydraulic, mechanical, and structural design rather than stability. Know the hook lift components and their capabilities and limitations. Overloading the hook lift may result in serious damage of self, others, equipment, or the surroundings. Also, do not allow unauthorized personnel or equipment to enter within 10 feet of the hook lift operating area. The vehicle should be positioned in an area free from bystanders and overhead obstructions. Use a signal person if necessary. Also maintain safe clearance from high voltage power lines. Serious injury or death will result from inadequate clearance of the hook lift, the load, or if the vehicle becomes electrically charged. Make certain that the vehicle is parked on stable, flat ground as close to the job as possible. The surface under the hook lift truck must be able to support weight of the machine and its load. Take care when operating in areas supported by vehicle tires because of the cushioning effect of springs and tires. Never operate the hook lift during electrical storms. If your work area is dusty, every effort must be taken to keep dust and sand out of the moving parts of the machinery. In high humidity work areas, keep parts as dry as possible and well lubricated. To load a body, maneuver the truck into a position so it is lined up with the body. Put the truck in neutral and engage the PTO by flipping the correct switch. Next, pull the control lever labeled tilt to full stroke, effectively releasing the dump tabs. Pull the control lever labeled lift until the hook is in a position to attach to the body. Slowly back up and attach to the body by using the lift control lever as necessary. Never use the hook lift to move personnel. Once fully attached, push the lift control lever to load the body. Do not use the drivetrain of the chassis to assist the hydraulics in loading. Make sure the body is lining up with the rear rollers while loading. If the container will experience a significant restriction to movement during loading, the foot brake should not be used. Allow the truck to roll under the load. Do not leave the hook lift unattended with a suspended load. Finally, push the control lever labeled tilt to move the tilt forward until the dump tabs fully engage. Disengage the PTO. To unload a body, put the truck in neutral and engage the PTO. Pull the control lever labeled tilt to lower the tilt as far as it will go, effectively releasing the dump tabs. Pull the control lever labeled lift until the body is on the ground. Again, if the container will experience a significant restriction to movement during unloading, the foot brake should not be used. Allow the truck to roll out from under the load. Detach the hook lift from the container by maneuvering the hook using the lift control lever and pulling the truck forward. Once fully detached, Push the lift control lever until the lift returns to the loading and unloading position. Finally, push the control lever labeled tilt to move the tilt forward until the dump tabs fully engage. Disengage the PTO. In order to dump your load, shift into neutral and engage the PTO. Slowly pull the control lever labeled lift as desired to dump the load. Be aware and avoid any overhead obstructions during the entire dump procedure. Do not take full rated capacity to full dump angle without some unloading of weight first. Full rated dump capacity assumes load will decrease as dump angle increases. When dumping is complete, push the lift control lever to return the body to the stowed position. You can now disengage the PTO.